the health care bill. Joining me now from Orlando is Florida Congressman Alan Grayson. Mr. Grayson, thanks for joining us. Sure, thank you. Is the health care bill dead, simply put, if Scott Brown wins in Massachusetts no. today? No, it's not. Uh, the plan was always to pass the bill this month or next month. Nothing has really changed. I do think that Ms. Coakley is going to win, but regardless of that, there's going to be a health care bill because America needs a health care bill. We have almost 1,000 people in America dying each week because they have no health care, and that can't go on any longer. But how can you say nothing? We're not going to solve our problems by ignoring them. But how can you say nothing has changed if a Republican wins and the, and the Democrats no longer have a supermajority in Congress? Well, we did. Look, the Republicans didn't need a supermajority to pass tax cuts for the rich. They did that with 51 votes in the Senate. And they passed the uh, Central American Free Trade Act and exported hundreds of thousands of our jobs to Central America with 54 votes. So why is it that when we need to try to solve America's problems, suddenly we need 60? If Martha Coakley loses, do you think the Republicans, it's a turning point for them? No, I don't, because in the end, the Democrats are actually trying to solve people's problems, and the Republicans are simply the party of no. That doesn't change at all just because they have 41 votes in the Senate instead of 40. They have no answers. They have no solutions. That's you, not you, what you people said, need now. They need answers. You said Martha Coakley, you, you think, will lose today. What went wrong with her campaign? No, if you could go no, back I and... Said, no, I said I think she'll win. You think she's going to win? Yes. What went wrong with her campaign I think that to bring we her to this statistical dead heat? I, I think that the Democrats benefit enormously from all the attention that's been placed in this race. When you have a special election, the crucial element is always turnout. And a minority party like the Republicans in Massachusetts benefit when turnout is low. Now turnout's going to be high because of all the attention that's being given. We had uh, a Democratic primary in Virginia recently where the turnout was 4%. I'm pretty sure that the turnout today in, in, in Massachusetts is going to be more than 4%. Do you think she did anything wrong in this campaign to bring her into a point where she's in a statistical dead heat with a Republican? I think that she's uh, the victim of, uh, of the Republicans' effort to make this into a national race. The Republicans have poured money into this race the way that they poured money into New York 23 in order to try to accomplish the same purpose. Uh, in order to give themselves a victory that they couldn't achieve nationally a year ago. Uh, and I think that uh, they're going to be defeated in Massachusetts the same way they were defeated in New York 23, and for the same reason. Because in the end, it's not a matter of personalities. Nobody really cares who their senator is or who their congressman is. What they really care about is, are, is someone trying to solve their problems? And that's what the Democrats are trying to do. It's not what the Republicans are trying to do. All right, Florida Congressman Alan Grayson. Congressman, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Nike is about to introduce new golf clubs.